In a move against the vaping industry, Attorney General Mark Burnovich successfully obtained a court injunction on Friday, banning the popular Ion Smoke Vape Company from doing business in Arizona. A lawsuit accuses the company of marketing to minors. That's just one move in Arizona to curb the number of teens getting access to vape products. I-team reporter Joe Dana has been on this story and has the latest for us. Joe? It's still too easy for teens in Arizona to use vape pens and pods. In part, our investigation found because stores and smoke shops are willing to sell directly to them illegally. Now, a proposed law would make those stores pay a heavier price. Can we ask you why you, you recommended this to a 16-year-old? Uh, no As our investigation recently revealed, teens going undercover for the state to purchase vape and tobacco products are routinely successful. He saw me pull out my ID. He didn't even ask. In fact, over the past three years alone, 959 Arizona businesses were repeat offenders. This smoke shop in Tempe already had five violations before it failed a sixth time during our November visit. I was like, is there a problem, sir? And he was like, no, there's not a problem. So the way the law is written right now, it doesn't matter whether you're a first-time offender or this is your 10th time being busted. It's the same fine. It's the same fine structure. That fine is 300 bucks. So what I would like to see is what other states have done, where if they pro the penalties get progressively worse. Two bills making their way at the state legislature propose ratcheting up fines across the board. First-time offenses would be $500. Second, third, and fourth time offenses would require fines into the thousands of dollars, a fourth violation amounting to up to five grand. Whether it be in the courts or at the Capitol, opponents of teen vaping appear to be doing what they can to slow down an epidemic. Now, one of the bills that stiffens penalties against stores goes to the Rules Committee tomorrow morning and could clear the House by this week before heading over to the Senate for a vote. Back to you. All right, Joe, thank you.